During the early days, there were a lot of skeptics. Nobody really thought, or very few people thought, that we could take this plant and produce potash. We built the plant. Uh, the view of our competitors changed dramatically. First, they said, well, it couldn't be done. It's been tried before. We're proud of our operation because we have a unique process. We have the highest quality product in the marketplace, and we have the best people. We have a great potash formation that was found in the Bell Plain vicinity and it was very attractive except for the depth of the formation, which didn't allow conventional mining. The plant was built in the early 1960s by PPG Industries, and there was a guy with PPG Industries named Barney Edmonds. He had a vision that you could solution mine potash here in Saskatchewan. He certainly was right. Uh, the plant was built and it's prospered ever since, and now it's a very important part of Mosaic's portfolio of plants. The Belle Plaine site is special because it was so unique. It was uh, the first of its kind in solution mining in the world. We've got something unique in terms of our technology. In a nutshell, it's pretty simple. You take warm water, warm brine, you inject it down to the same level as the potash strata, you mine out or dissolve the uh, potassium and sodium uh, chloride salts, you bring them to surface, and you find a way to process them. Back in the 60s, here within this Regina Mooster corridor, uh, potash was new. They didn't have any idea who we were, what we would do. The engineers and the management weren't even sure how, how well it was going to work. Again, at that time, it was basically a, a very uh, secretive process. They were still doing uh, some uh, experimental work um, to try to determine what was the best way to run the, the process. Management really encouraged our input in day-to-day -day operations because it was a learning process, I think, for everybody. The first potash was produced here in August of uh, 1964. I think when we started, we produced about 800,000 tons a year. It was all optimistic, and it was always growing. The plant was always growing. Just seeing the plant expand and grow from you know, almost three times its original size, a big achievement for the employees here. I think Bell Plain was uh, considered very forward thinking in their approaches to health and safety and policies, procedures, techniques. We've been very blessed to have innovation here where people can look at the process and say, okay, if we do this, It'll make things much, much better. And we never stopped doing that. Every, every minute of every day, you looked at things and said, how, could I make, how can I make it better? How can I make it last longer? How can I make it more reliable? Since that first ton of potash rolled off the belt at Bell Plain in 1964, this is a plant that's been continually improved, continually looked at, and even to this day with our young engineers, we're encouraging them to take nothing for granted. Just because it's been here for 50 years doesn't mean it can't be improved upon or that there isn't a better technology out there that we should be applying. Solution mining is inherently energy intensive. The workforce came up with the idea that to cool the brine instead of expending additional energy to cool it, we'll take advantage of Mother Nature's winter and we will let her cool the brine for us. Pond Technology added over the course of years about a million extra tons of productive capability and was a breakthrough technology for the site. I don't even think of it as a mine as much as a, uh, just a, a, a very unique production facility that uses uh, smart technology to make smart products. The biggest thing I noticed out here was the people. That was a very good place to work. Everybody pulled together and everybody was really uh, a good team together. We were, we were a group, we were a family of people trying to get a potash plant running. We really felt that we were, we were doing an important job, both for the community and for the world. Employees at our site have always been passionate about the communities around them, and there is a number of organizations that they really rally behind and support. So in Moose Jaw, 
its hunger in moose jaw and the habitat builds. Being able to put back to the community is, is enriching our employees, families, lives, as well as their friends and neighbors. On the front sign it says this is the world's largest solution mine. And that says a lot in itself. What's been accomplished here is, is truly remarkable over the years. We had pride in our work. We had pride in, in the potash that we made. And I know there was always one question that was asked me is, how many years will this place be open? And we were always told, well, we have at least 300 years of potash here. So it's very unique to work for a company that's going to be here for a long term. Now we're celebrating a 50th, and uh, I think this is just a small milestone in terms of uh, where this plant will be. The nice thing about being part of a potash mine is it's, it's there to help grow the crops to feed the world. I'm proud to be part of the last 50 years of operation of Bell Plain, and I'm really enthusiastic about what we have going for us going forward. We're going to deliver results on production and we're going to do it safer and more responsible to the environment than we ever have.